Hey guys, Miss Ham here. Um, today we're going to be looking at the article for RL 7.1 titled How Gross Is Your Bathroom? So hang tight and let's learn about what kind of germs live on your throne. How gross is your bathroom? What do norovirus, salmonella, E. coli, and Staphylococcus aureus have in common? They're all illness-inducing germs, and they all thrive wherever there is a throne. In fact, your bathroom is probably secretly harboring a village of germs that you know nothing about. But before you enter the bathroom in a hazmat suit, let's take a look at just how germ-laden your bathroom may be. Friend or foe. Before we dive too deep into the bathroom, let's discuss what germs really are. The term germ refers to any microscopic particle that can cause humans to become ill. The most common germs that you'll find living in your bathroom are bacteria and viruses. Bacteria are microscopic, single-celled organisms that can live almost anywhere. Most bacteria are harmless, and some are even beneficial to the human body. For example, Bifobacterium longum live in human intestines and actually prohibit the colonization by pathogenic or harmful bacteria. Bacteria can enter your body through any opening, such as your mouth, nose, or even tiny pores in your skin. Once pathogenic bacteria enters your body, it can cause illness in a number of ways. Because there are so many types of bacteria that live and thrive in feces, the bathroom is an obvious place it can end up. Fortunately, many bacterial infections can be treated with antibiotic substances that kill or slow bacteria and help your immune system fight them off. Viruses are another type of germ that can make humans sick. A virus is made up of a small piece of genetic material surrounded by a small protein capsule. After entering your body in the same ways that bacteria can, a virus comes into contact with your cells. The virus attaches itself to one of your cells and injects its genetic material. Your cell is actually tricked into replicating the virus DNA causing the virus to spread throughout your body. One example of bathroom invading virus is the norovirus. You may have heard it called the stomach flu. Antibiotics are not effective in treating viruses, but many viruses can be prevented through immunizations. Page two. Believe it or not, it isn't necessary to become a full-on hypochondriac. It is important to know that every nefarious bac virus or bacteria that you come into contact with won't make you sick. Your body's immune system is constantly working to fend, these predator, to fend off these predators so only a tiny fraction of germs that you encounter lead to any symptoms at all. Now that you're caught up on the germ jargon, let's take a closer look at your bathroom. What you can't see might hurt you. When you think about the bacteria living in your bathroom, your mind automatically thinks about the toilet. But believe it or not, the surface of the toilet is not the dirtiest part of your bathroom. If you were to take simple swabs of several surfaces in your bathroom, you'd likely get results that are similar to these. The folks at the Digital Health Reporter collected data from several different bathrooms in order to determine which surfaces contain the most bacteria, and the results will probably surprise you. The most obvious place for germs, the toilet seat, only contains about 300 bacteria per square inch. And while that sounds like a lot, it's not as bad as you might fear. Let's compare that with the amount of bacteria living on other surfaces near the loo. The light switch contains a surprising 215 bacteria per square inch, while the countertop hosts 450 bacteria per square inch. Be sure to wear your shoes to the potty or you'll expose your bare feet to the 750 bacteria per square inch living on the floor.
and perhaps most shockingly of all, think twice about how you wash your hands. The faucet or tap contains 4,975 bacteria per square inch. That's over 16 times the bacteria on the toilet seat. Experts recommend that you use a clean paper towel to turn off the faucet after washing your hands to avoid one of the most dangerous surfaces of the bathroom. So when nature calls, go forth and brave the elements. You'll probably survive. Just make sure you scrub the bathroom well before you do and take your vitamins. I hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, please let me know.